Kissy, save your lips for the prepackaged candy assortments. Halloween staples and childhood favorites, candies are loved by everyone. Available in sour, sweet, gummy, salty sweet, chocolatey, fruity, and everything else in between, candy makers leave no stone unturned in pushing the creative envelope. But sometimes they overdo it. Check out these top 10 candies that went too far. What about that Mattel and Mars Bar Quick Energy Choco Bot Hour? Jelly Belly Pet Rat. I have a rat. From the famous candy house of Jelly Belly, the makers of colorful jelly beans, Jelly Belly Pet Rat is a gummy candy that is shaped like a rat. The candy became famous due to the 2014 video that went viral on YouTube. I'm Corey, and today I'm going to teach you how to get your friend out of a rat hole. These rodent-shaped candies are available in assorted flavors of cherry, orange, and grape. They are soft and chewy gummy treats bursting with fruity flavors. Each pet rat candy comes in quite a large large size, about nine inches long and three ounces in weight, and comes wrapped in individual packaging. Public opinion about these Jelly Belly pet rats is divided. Some have found them to be flavorful and too cute to eat, while others have found them to be creepy looking with a very gummy texture and too sweet a taste. Nevertheless, these rodents are fun to use as Halloween decoration, to prank your coworkers, friends, or family members, or to use as Christmas stocking stuffers. Kids seem to love these pet rats, so you could be the cool neighbors handing out Jelly Belly pet rat candy next Halloween, or be cheeky party hosts who hand out the candy as party favors. Ah, oh, you brought rats to my birthday party? World's largest gummy worm. Look at the size of that thing. For those who believe that size doesn't matter, this candy is surely not up their alley. For the candy is named World's Largest Gummy Gummy worm. Yes, this candy has a title in its name. World's largest gummy worm is 26 inches long and weighs about three pounds. This is one candy that has truly taken things too far. World's largest gummy worm is shaped just like a regular gummy worm, with a ribbed body and a cute smiley face at one end. The only difference is that it has a five inch girth. Length times diameter plus weight over girth these multicolored worms are available in delicious flavor combinations like blue raspberry and green apple, pineapple and red cherry, etc. With such pretty colors, these massive gummy worms certainly look very adorable. Though traditionally sweet in taste, this candy is available in sour flavors as well. A few more interesting facts about this gigantic gummy worm. It has a year-long shelf life. Thus, you can savor the flavor in small chunks instead of having to polish it off all in one go. And it would be a good idea not to eat this entire gummy worm in one sitting, for it is loaded with nearly 4,000 calories. This candy is handmade in the USA and makes for a perfect gift for any fun occasion. Jake's back! Jake's back! Oh, we're not ready. We need gummy worms. We need them now! Candy cigarettes. Candy cigarette? I don't want a candy cigarette. I want our Annie. These retro classic candies shaped like cigarettes are still available in some places. These candy cigarettes are packed in attractive vintage and graphic cigarette boxes. Even the brands and packaging style mimic real cigarettes. Introduced as early as the 1940s, the popularity of candy cigarettes continued all the way to the 70s. When they made their debut in the early part of the 20th century, people were not aware of the harmful effects of smoking, and it was considered quite fashionable to smoke a few cigarettes a day. Naturally, people did not think much of allowing their children to pretend to smoke with these candy cigarettes. Children were often seen passing around a pack of candy cigarettes just like adults and enjoying their sweet taste. Some things are silly and evil, like candy cigarettes. But once reports started pouring in about the ill effects of smoking, parents took notice of the candy cigarettes and effectively ended the popularity of these candies. Freedom ain't not free. Candy cigarettes made in the 20th century looked exactly like real cigarettes, with a red tip and they had a sweet and spicy taste. Today, these candy cigarettes are called candy sticks, and nowhere does it say cigarettes on the packs, for obvious reasons. And they are getting more and more difficult to find. Though controversial, candy cigarettes enjoyed a lot of popularity back in the day and have become novelty vintage items now. <laughs> what kind of candy cigarette is this? Twinkle down, giggle bud. Tower of Sour Liquid Candy Urine Samples. 
Peanut, a little help here. Got a big jar of urine. That's right. This candy is called and looks like a urine sample. Before you feel all grossed out, allow us to explain some more details about the candy. It is a lemon liquid candy that comes packed in individual urine sample containers, complete with a sterile label and a medical fact sticker. It is a very realistic looking urine container filled with a deep yellow lemon flavored sour liquid that is actually quite delicious in taste once you get over the fact that you are actually drinking it from a medical testing vial. Though sometimes available in a single container, these sour liquid candies are often sold in a five pack that can be stacked up into a tower. Hence the name, Tower of Sour Liquid Candy Urine Samples. Watch your guests squirm as you bring out a tray full of these sour liquid candy urine samples and offer it to them. These urine samples are also great for playing pranks on innocent co-workers and make for excellent gag gift material. Well, you did manage to get a tremendous urine sample. Jelly Belly Draft Beer. Mmm, gummy beer. Another weird and wacky flavor from the candy makers Jelly Belly is Jelly Belly Draft Beer. It is actually their first beer-flavored jelly bean. Apparently, this was a much-requested flavor from Jelly Belly customers, and they finally got around to making it a few years ago. The candy experts at the company conducted extensive research, trials, and experiments with various beers before coming up with the perfect beer-flavored jelly bean candy. They have successfully managed to convert the the draft beer flavor into a gourmet jelly bean. How are you today? I'm Mr. Jelly Bean. And since it does not have any alcohol, Jelly Belly Draft Beer is a well-known flavor among candy makers since it has won the 2014 Most Innovative New Product Award at the NCA Sweets and Snacks Expo. The innovative candy tastes exactly like freshly poured draft beer with a slight effervescence and has a golden iridescent finish that actually makes each jelly bean look like a tiny jewel. This fun candy packs a crisp and flavorful punch, despite being free of alcohol. Taking their draft beer innovation one step further, Jelly Belly has even come up with unique packaging, like a 1.75 ounce draft beer can tin that offers Jelly Belly draft beer jelly beans in a souvenir tin shaped like a can of beer. It is a cool looking keepsake tin that would be a great gift for a beer lover. Any good? Yes. Gorilla Boogers. Sorry I'm late ahead. Oh. I had to get a bag of bananas so I could taunt the gorilla. The candy is called Gorilla Boogers, but before you get all freaked out, please know that there are absolutely no boogers from gorillas or anything else in these candies. This particular candy is a Japanese invention where it is apparently very popular for its novelty value. The quirky candy is actually called Gorilla no Hanakuso in Japanese, which basically means gorilla nose crap or Gorilla Boogers. You say Japanese a lot, I like you Japanese. Oh, now you're making fun of me. The packaging even has a silly looking gorilla with its finger in its nose, supposedly digging up the boogers. Gorilla Boogers look like raisins and are actually shriveled and sweetened black beans. Dried black beans are commonly used in making sweets in East Asia. As such, Gorilla Boogers are made from black beans that are apparently sun-dried, mashed up, and then molded into small raisin, or booger-like shapes. After attaining much fame in Japan, Gorilla Boogers were soon available in mega cities of the US too. Despite an off-putting name, many people seem to enjoy the taste of these black bean candies. If you find the name and the concept funny, you would be pleased to know that the Japanese company that manufactures these Gorilla Boogers also makes candy shaped like boogers of other animals, like pandas, penguins, sea otters, and mice. We're practically the size of mice, Right? We are mice, Pinky. Jelly Belly Bubbly Champagne. You want the rest of the champagne? No, and it's pronounced champagne. Why splurge on a bottle of champagne when you can just buy a bottle full of Jelly Belly Bubbly Champagne Beans? Created by the legendary candy makers Jelly Belly, these champagne jelly beans have the perfect bubbly flavor and finish of champagne, with slight notes of honey-like sweetness. Most people who have tried them have agreed the flavor is not too strong, unlike the Jelly Belly Draft Beer Beans. And the best part is 
is there is no alcohol in them, so you can enjoy as many Jelly Belly champagne beans as you like. These candy beans have an appealing iridescent finish that makes them perfect for parties, weddings, birthdays, or any celebration. A new holiday was born! A Festivus for the rest of us! Plus, they are sold packaged in a small champagne-like bottle complete with bubbly scrawled across it and a foil at the top. Thus, they make excellent party favors and superb stocking stuffers, too. Well, I've got the Christmas spirit. I made everybody stockings. Big League Chew. I feel like you're big leaguing me, dude. Are you taking me seriously? Nicknamed as the Hall of Fame Bubblegum, Big League Chew is simply shredded gum that is sold in a pouch. When it was first introduced in 1980, it was pink in color, just like traditional bubblegum. But it is available in several flavors and colors now. And if you're wondering about the story behind the name, here it goes. This novel type of bubblegum was reportedly the brainchild of Portland Mavericks pitcher Rob Nelson and a staff member who created the product to mock the tobacco habit of that time. Big G. The best and wanted to target young boys who were interested in baseball. Thus, the idea of shredded gum and the name Big League Chew. It is believed that about 800 million Big League Chew pouches have been sold so far, and the candy has evolved from its origins in the 1980s. The packaging has attractive graphics matching with the catchy flavor names like Outta Here Original, Big Rally Raspberry, Swingin' Sour Apple, Ground Ball Grape, etc. I want to be a big deal, Cal, and I want gum. Oh, but don't eat all my gum, Charlie. Warheads Extreme Sour. I'm kind of soured. You soured? Yeah, I'm sour. Don't be sour. I'm sorry, I'm sour. Get ready for some extreme puckering action with Warhead's Extreme Sour Candies. These hard candies are a lot more sour than the usual sour candies and are sold in five assorted flavors like lemon, black cherry, apple, watermelon, and blue raspberry. When the candy first hits your tongue, you get an instant burst of tanginess from the citric acid in the candy. But the addition of malic acid helps prolong the sourness in the warheads. My eyes, the goggles do nothing. The hard and smooth texture of the candy is due to the corn syrup in it. After some time, the sourness does wear off, and what you are left with is a sweet and hard candy. Warheads Extreme Sour certainly packs a punch with their tangy flavors, but eating more than one or two pieces at a time is not recommended. Excessive consumption of this candy in a short span of time could reportedly lead to increased sensitivity in the mouth and temporary irritation, too. I'll try. I'll try and be sour and sweeten. Jelly Belly Bean Boozled. Let's play Bamboozled. Bamboozled? Yeah, isn't that a cool name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another wild candy from Jelly Belly is Jelly Belly Bean Boozled. These candies are for the adventurous eaters and perfect for playing pranks on others. They were first introduced in the late 2000s, but gained popularity only in 2013 when popular YouTubers started making Bean Boozled challenge videos. These candies come in a literal mixed bag of flavors. The good ones include birthday cake, tutti frutti, Berry Blue, Chocolate Pudding, and Juicy Pear. With the yucky ones being Booger, Spoiled Milk, Dirty Dishwasher, Barf, Stinky Socks, etc. With such cringe-worthy names, these candies certainly have unexpected flavors that are guaranteed to surprise you. And you will never be able to know which one is which because the flavors come in pairs and look alike. You've been bamboozled! For example, Dirty Dishwasher and Birthday Cake look exactly the same, as do Barf and Peach. Take a chance and find out which one is yuck and which one is yum. This is the best game ever! Stick around for more great yummy videos and tap that screen. Checking us out for the first time? Then show us some love and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.